My name is Ismail Gögenor. I am a surgeon at the Department of Surgery at Zealand University Hospital. And I'm also at the same time a professor of surgery at Copenhagen University. I'm Mary Louise Malmström. I'm also a surgeon at the Department of Surgery at uh, Zealand University Hospital in Kyu. And um, we would like to introduce our article, which is called Dynamic Contrast Enhanced EUS for Quantification of Tumor Perfusion in Colonic Cancer, a Prospective Cohort Study. Well, um, anti-angiogenic and anti-vascular therapies have become more and more widespread over the last decade. And finding a uh, method to actually uh, quantify tumor perfusion uh, during ongoing therapy is uh, very requested. So we thought that we might be able to use uh, endoscopic ultrasound with contrast enhancement to quantify tumor perfusion in colonic cancer. The aims were to quantify tumor perfusion in colonic cancer using the perimeters from the time intensity curve and correlating those to uh, immunohistochemical stainings of the final resection specimens and the stainings were used, uh, the stainings used were uh, the uh, stainings towards uh, CD31 and CD105. We included patients who were referred to our center uh, with an endoscopically verified colonic cancer in the left side of the colon and who were also uh, biopsy verified as adenocarcinomas. Um, they were all awaiting uh, left-sided uh, colonic uh, cancer surgery. Um, and the methods used were uh, using a radial array forward-looking eco-endoscope uh, coupled to uh, um, uh, specialized ultrasound uh, units with uh, specialized software that could analyze files in the DCOM format because we recorded uh, um, contrast-enhanced movies of the patients uh, injecting a second-generation contrast agent, uh, some of you, and recording movies uh, over a time period of two minutes. Well, we did find a correlation uh, between rise time uh, in the center of the tumor and CD31 in the uh, final resection specimen, uh, and we also found a correlation between the rise time and the fall time in the invasive front of the tumor uh, correlated with uh, the microvascular density of the resection specimen for CD31 as well. Um, all of the above were measured at a significance level with all, uh, more than 0.5. So these are preliminary findings. Um, they, they are exciting. It's nice. Uh, it's good to see that there is a possibility to connect uh, the EUS-based perfusion measurement with the histology. This is an uh, important finding, but it's preliminary. The perspectives is to validate these in, in relation to uh, phenotypic uh, data on the patient. So how, how, how could that be, be done? This could be a, a measure for um, examining the uh, aggressiveness of the tumor uh, with respect of the risk of lymph node metastases or the prognosis uh, because the result of, of vascular density is pretty much a result of a multiple um, uh, pathophysiological event in the tumor, in, uh, including the immune system. Another thing is these results may be combined with other morphological data that we get when we're doing EUS. So the, the broadness of the invasive front of the, of the tumor, why would that be important? Well, we are trying to stratify treatment for patients with early cancer. And this could be a method in the future to assessment of, of early cancers as well. So not just big bulky tumors with their vascularity, but also small tumors with their vascularity. So at the moment, this is a methodology used by endosc endoscopists, which has the, the, the training to perform EUS uh, and and 
it's in that setting it should be further validated and further tested. So I'm looking forward to other uh, units and research groups uh, reproducing these findings. And when we have more data on coupling the EUS-based findings and the histology, we should try to make the more prospective multi-center studies coupling these findings to clinical findings. So at the moment, my best uh, evaluation is that is a, an important research tool, but it is a research tool which needs to be validated before it can be introduced in clinical life. Thank you very much.